behalf of Logan, Durbin, and their families, I'd like to welcome all of you to this very happy occasion. You're each an important part of Logan and Durbin's circle of family and friends. We're so very happy that you're here with them today. And they appreciate the efforts that you all made to be here. Who gives this woman to this man in marriage? Durbin's and Logan's paths brought them together almost six years ago. Through their time together, they have come to realize that their personal dreams, hopes, and goals are more attainable and more meaningful through the combined effort and mutual support provided with love, commitment, and family. And so they have decided to live from this day forward as husband and wife. They believe that marriage is the ultimate promise and commitment crucial for a strong foundation. Let us all bring forth love and happiness to share with them at this moment of joy in our lives. I would now like to invite my mother, Judy Ripley, our poor leader. allowances for human weaknesses. Love is content with the present, hopes for the future, and does not brood over the past. It is the day in and day out chronicles of irritations, problems, compromises, small disappointments, big victories, and working toward common goals. If you have love in your life, you make up for a great many things you love. If you do not have love, no matter what else there is, it is not as well. Logan and Durbin, your love and commitment to each other was formed from early emails to each other as we were on two different continents, from moving across country to work at a camp, camps in North Carolina and traveling across the world to work and live in the Republic of Georgia, and most recently in moving to Denver and, and buying a house together. Through these times together, you learned that you had several things in common, such as an intense love for family, friends, dogs, and adventure. You also learned how to compromise, communicate effectively, how to fight for the relationship, and to trust one another. Most importantly, you fell deeply in love with each other. Durbin Logan told me that he just can't live without you, and that he finds life unbearable if he has to be away from you for even a day or two. Logan, Durbin tells me she just loves so much about you, and she really appreciates how you support her various endeavors and hobbies and life aspirations. Your friends and family love you two together. And talking to both of your parents, you kept hearing a common theme that you complement each other perfectly, and that you make each other better versions of themselves. So my charge to you is to never forget what has brought you, brought you to this moment, and to keep doing more of the same. Logan and Durbin, do you have family and friends as your witness? Present yourself will willingly and of your own accord to be joined in marriage. Will you promise to care for each other in the joys and sorrows of life? and to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment for your life together. And if you would please share your vows with Durbin and you first. Best friend, partner, crime. I couldn't be happy. 
watching you behind the bar at Empire, I immediately was able to recognize your incredible work ethic and your natural likability. I love that you've learned, as difficult as it has been, to ski with only one headphone out when we're skiing <laughs> on the mountain together. <laughs> to me, this is evidence of your unending ability and effort towards making me happy. Although I've given you lots of stuff over the years. <laughs> your cleanliness, borderline OCD cleanliness. I do actually really admire and appreciate it and especially admire the fact that you take such great care of your belongings and have such love for our new house. I love how you are with kids. You're always the new coolest person any of them have ever met within minutes of meeting them. I love how much you love me and want to protect and care for me and one day our family. I love that you've given in to my wordless request for a hand rub, a foot rub, a calf rub, a leg rub, <laughs> while we're watching TV or any other time of day. I admire our ability together to form new norms, different from the ways that we both grew up. Whether it's going to Joyful Journeys, where we went last weekend, staying in a yurt or a teepee, taking Brantley to the park in the mornings with our coffee, going on runs together on the weekend, having date nights at our no-repeat restaurants. I love that we both thrive when around our friends, as evidenced one time in particular by the 4th of July 2012 Lakewood Country Club moment when we had won a cannonball contest. And he was so excited about winning and the crowd was so excited for him that I was just bawling my eyes out in the middle of the pool. <laughs> our long drives together when you tell me about the history behind all the songs that we listen to and that you know from Pandora. I'm able to tell you about my travel adventures. I love watching the bulldogs play in the, <laughs> play in the fall and I look forward to attending some of the games together this year since we have season two. I love the weekends <laughs> when we're able to wake up leisurely, have our coffee, run errands together, and walk around our new neighborhood. I promise you love and support on any commitment and faith in where we've been and where we're going. I promise to be a responsible and sensible partner. I promise you not to worry about the small stuff and to appreciate who you are and where you've come from. I promise you to always follow. I promise you to always follow my dreams and support you in following. Durbin, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Your endless energy brightens my life every day. You've changed me and challenged me to be a better person. For that, I'm forever grateful. Every minute I'm away from you, I feel complete. I love how much you care for dogs and children. That shows me how compassionate you are and what a good mother you'll be. I love our life together and the family and friends we share. I'm so excited for our future plans and for the unexpected things to come. I promise to love and take care of you as long as I breathe. I'll try my best to communicate, be honest, be patient, and open up to you every day. I feel so blessed that today I get to marry you, my best friend. I look forward to going for it. We would now like to invite Durbin's mother, Patty Schwartz, up for another reading. This is a reading of, of a song by John Denver, and I don't think it's hokey at all, but it's 
it's perhaps love. Perhaps love is like a resting place, a shelter from the storm. It exists to give you comfort. It is there to keep you warm. And in those times of trouble, when you are most alone, the memory of love will bring you home. Perhaps love is like a window to help you get through. Perhaps love is like an ocean full of conflict and full of pain. Like a fire when it's cold outside and thunder when it rains. If I should live forever and my dreams all come true, my memories of love would be the pure. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Seth, now please have the hands. The wedding ring is the traditional symbol of marriage. Durbin and Logan, you will have many times and moments throughout your marriage where your love will feel even greater than it does in this time. Unfortunately, you will also have some times when your love doesn't feel quite as strong as it does in this moment. And you have times when your feelings aren't the strongest. May you look at the ring that will be on your finger and be reminded of the commitment and promise you have made to each other. Logan, please place the ring on Durbin's finger. I, Logan, give you Derby. This ring is a sign of my love and commitment to you. Derby, please place this ring on Logan's finger and repeat after me. I, Logan, give you Derby. This ring is a sign of my love and commitment to you. It's certainly no accident that any of you are here to witness this ceremony. You're all here because Durbin and Logan feel you have helped them make them into who they are today, and you are the foundation of their lives. Just as you played an instrumental role in shaping who they are and in participating in the fun and adventure that helped them fall in love with each other, you must also now do your part to help them come together. It's often said that it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I also firmly believe that it takes a village to keep two people together for a lifetime. So if you promise to always continue to participate with them in fun and adventure, to encourage them to fight for their marriage, to help them give up some of the mean for the lead, then please repeat that to me by saying, we will. <laughs> by the power invested in me by the state of Colorado, and on behalf of everyone here today, it is my pleasure and humble honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Logan, you may now kiss your bride. It is my pleasure to present to you Logan and Durbin Ripley.